What's good, Black Star Podcast? Welcome back to the channel. Damn, it's been a minute since I've done one of these car videos. But, you know how we go. But Black, for, uh, but Black Star Podcast, we're going to have to have a little talk here. And we got to talk about this because this is actually a reality that I'm just now, well, not just now realizing. I've realized it a while, a long time ago. But somebody in the comments confirmed what I was thinking. And I didn't want to put it out until I actually see somebody actually say this. Us as black folks have gotten way too comfortable with voting in trash and we've got way too comfortable letting people control our um, our vote. We've 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 let we've let way too many people and gotten way too comfortable with it. Now, what do I talk about? There's two commenters that that just commented on the live stream I just did today. One was a white guy, I believe, and the other was a, another race. I'm not sure which race. But shout out to those two commenters. Thank you guys for commenting. The other guy said, no mean to be offensive, but what has black, uh, what have black folks, well, what have blacks done with their freedom, what done with their freedom instead of actually us? And so what is, what have blacks done with their freedom in their political power? And they've created a situation where you guys, I post the odds, post the comment in the description. I can't really remember what exactly it said. But he's right. What have black folks done with their freedom and their power? We've let other people come in and dictate the direction of our community. See, God, this is going to sound so bad. I, I, I already know this is going to sound bad. We've let We've let other people dictate our direction and have destroyed ourselves. We've let other races create a divide between our people and we've let them destroy us as a community. Now, why am I talking about this? Because it's the fundamental truth. Pro-blacks refuse to damn refuse to see it. Um, we've let a we've let everybody come through and separate us from our people. We let too many outside influences infiltrate our community. In front and I and in reality, we have nobody else to blame but ourselves. We as a community can't get our shit together. We can't get on the same cause. You have black men and black women fighting against each other through policy and through a whole and through uh, relationships. We can't get them on the same page in relationships. We can't get on the same page and politically. We're separated, splintered down the middle, and then each gender has their own different subgroups preaching different shit. Advocating for different shit. So, we are separated and divided. As a community, we cannot afford this. We've allowed too much fuckery. We've allowed too much dividing and conquering of our of our people. And we have nobody but, the, but ourselves to blame. And then to the other fact, we as a community, we don't learn, we don't know how to cooperate with each other. See, other other races of communities, see, what I see is this. Other races of communities, they have their differences, but they all band together to fight for one common goal. See, I said it like I said in my life. There is power. There is power in keeping us separated. There's power in us. There's power in keeping us on on the opposite ends. 
bobbing us back and forth. There's power in that. So, I'm going to say this. Don't get mad at the white man for what they did. Get mad at ourselves for allowing the shit to come in. See, the reason why the Latino, the, the Latino and the Asian uh, community is still intact because they repelled the shit that a lot of these, uh, a lot, of, a lot of white boys was preaching. They repelled it. And actually, not and honestly, if we as a community was so close together, none of this shit would have actually happened. We wouldn't have gotten sold into slavery. We would have still been. And uh, we would have still been in Africa. We said that we would have had our African roots. But no. We as a community, we prop up and we praise another race for their quote unquote accomplishments. And we, degra and we degradate and ostracize our own race and call our own men, call uh, other black men trash, garbage, and uh, useless. And we can and we continue to look at and we can, I continue to see that our community is not going to repair itself and can't be repaired. So in actuality, black folks, we've caused our own destruction. We've let our own destruction happen. And you know what? We cannot blame anybody but ourselves. We've done this. We've allowed this trash. We've allowed this to happen. So whatever comes in the next few years, that is on us. Whatever we um whatever we see with the with dealing with the passport bro movement and with uh dealing with the divestor movement, I guess. We've let that happen and we've caused that. Our community will never be strong. And no, I'm not advocating I'm not advocating for the divestor movement. I'm not advocating for that. I'm not advocating for you to find a love wherever you are. I'm not I'm not at all um, advocating for the destruction of our community, but it's gonna happen. 